Hi guys, I'm back on a new video. Today is a haul, and it's a very large haul. Overall, I spent over £100. <laughs> I know, just after Christmas, but I needed some stuff. So, I'm going to show you more boring stuff and the bigger products. So, they're all by you. And these are what I got from Pets at Home. I got the small hay, just because I buy the little ones now. Because Dora is in my bedroom, I prefer the smaller ones because they fit in my drawers a lot easier. So, I had to buy them once, so and they were £2. Um, if I remember the prices, I will tell you them if not i will put them down on the screen but that's a that's a 750 gram bag and i don't mind they hey gotta be honest but i prefer the snowflake one but this is the one i need at the moment because my local one has actually run out for this week and they're not delivering until monday and we've run out of hay so that will do fine then i've got a medium wood shavings which looks like that i don't mind the pet storm wood shavings a lot of people don't like it but i don't mind it to be honest and that's medium one, like I said, which won't last very long, but still. Then I got this Timothy Hay. Um, I think that was £4. Yeah, it was £4. This was um, £6, something like that. Timothy Hay. And that's what Dora has now, it's Timothy. And I've also got a bag of... The Dandelion of Marigold Herbage. And for fibre balls, from rabbits, guinea pigs, and chinchillas. Now, Dora absolutely loves that, and as you can tell, it's Burgess. And I think that was either, that was either £6 or £4, pound. I can't remember exactly how much it was. But yeah, that's that. So that's them overall. Sorry they're a bit boring, but I thought I'd still recorded with the video. So, yeah, that's that. That's them. The next thing I then got was one of these squeaky toys, and this is from Pets at Home. Give me a laugh, you can't have two sets. Here we come. <laughs> What's that then? That's lovely, isn't it? It's got like crinkly legs and it's kind of cool. It's flowery, as you can see. This was, I thought it said it was £3. I, I, I got it recorded in the video. But yes, um, it was £3. It's got a squeak in the middle of which. If you just figured out. What's that? Oh, what is it? Oh, calm down, calm down. Oh, I could show people. And then I got these little. See, you can see the next stringy. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> right. It's got like a cute little face on it. It's brown. And I thought it was mega cute. Two seconds. I'm going to rip the tags off so I let them have it. So I thought that was £3, but it wasn't doing <laughs> You know what? It's on the camera. Right. Sit there with it. That's what things like that. <laughs> I then got a bag of J Dribble and a bag of Harry Hamster. J Dribble's now got a new la labelling, as you can see there. I really like J Dribble and I like Harry Hamster. I mix it in. Obviously, this is the everyday food, and this is what I like to give them. Quite a few people like it, some people don't like it. But personally, these are my favourite. Um, how much are they? they? Oh, these are from the range. Sorry, I've kind of like switched on the range a moment. I'll go back on the pets at home now, I just realised. Um, but they were, I then got a bag of J Dribble and a bag of Harry Hamster. J Dribble's now got a new la labelling, as you can see there. I really like J Dribble and I like Harry Hamster. I mix it in, obviously this is the everyday food, and this is what I like to give them. Quite a few people like it, some people don't like it, but personally these are my favourite. Um, how much are they? they? Oh, these are from the range. Sorry, I've kind of like switched on the range a moment. I go back on the pets at home now. I just realised. Um, but they were. Look at my list. It's a bad boy. <laughs> I'll just find the price. Okay, as you guys know, I'm not very good with prices and looking at receipts. I'll put the price on the screen, and that's those. So I decided to do my bulk. I'm back on the pets at home. These are some of the treats I can find at the moment. So we've got apple snacks here. Woodlands aromatic crunchies there. The stuffed wood rolls. One has this like kind of filling in there, which is I bought the wood rolls for ages. They one each for each of the pets. So the gerbil, the hamster, and the guinea pig. This one's got carrot, red millet, yellow millet, blah blah blah. And this one has oh, it's the same kind of stuff. It just looks different. There's more herbs in this one, so I'll give that one to Dora. And. Prices on guys, comment down below because I want to put all the prices on you. And yeah, that's those. And 
is going to the next thing. Then I bought three of the small pet safe bedding. Now I really like this bedding. This is one of my favourite, I gotta be honest, for beddings for the pets. Um for nest materials and for gerbils for the top for the uh, um what do we call them? Um I can't think what they're called. Oh, for the tunnels, that's the one. So I got three of those and they were 75 cents each, which was not too bad. I then got one thing for the fish because I couldn't don't want to leave them out. This was eight pound and it's a tank ornament, but it's got one it's like how do I say it? Oh, there we are. At the back there, it's got like a little thing where you put the pump, not the pump, the air pump. And this kind of goes up and down. And I thought this was, this was the only one really there. The, and the other one was kind of like childish. <laughs> I thought this would look quite nice in the tank for a change. And that's that, and that was £8. I got a new one of these play tunnels for the gerbils, just because they absolutely love bark. And the, this is a kind of toy that they like. They don't have a lot left. they got probably about this much left. Um... Just the corner, so I thought I'd buy him a new one because I didn't buy him that many toys for Christmas. Um, sorry, I didn't know Christmas videos as well, guys. I apologize for that, but uh, yeah, I had that. That was how much was that? Three pounds, four pounds, something like that. I then got three of the uh, not three, I bought three last time. Um, no, I bought two last time and this one, so that makes it three of the Woodland Small Grass Houts. Says there was only two left, so what I done, I bought those two, kept them. And I bought another one when I went back down there for the pets because Dora can I can stuff hay in there for Dora. The gerbils can have one and the hamster can have one. They can all have one at the same time. So I bought another one just to go with that. I then got these Vitacraft donuts. These are also from Pets at Home. And it says on the front it's for guinea pigs and rabbits, but they're not. They only for really for gerbils and hamsters. And the gerbils absolutely love these. They've got like egg in them, as you can see there, and they've got carrots in them. And uh, I thought these would be a nice change for them because I never I don't really give them that many treats anymore. Um, but that's those. I then got four of the Ancos dog too, chews. Uh, two dog eyes and two of the toothbrushes. I bought four of these ready for the pets for Christmas and they've destroyed them. So I picked up another four. They sound like 80 pence each now. They used to be like 40 pence, 50 pence each. So... Yeah, they kind of rocketed up in price, but the pets absolutely love these, so I don't mind spending more. So I didn't want them all to feel left out, so I had them all the same colours. This is from Pets at Home, I think. Oh, I've got a bag of treats as well, which I'll show you in a minute. But I also buy a bag. Every single time I go into Pets at Home, I buy one of these. They're only a pound, they go straight to the rescue, as you can see there. Can you see that? All the ones are supported there. And the photos kind of change on these quite a lot, so I do like to buy them. I've got a little collection going on here. But they're always handy because they have the strong bags. And yeah, that's them. I then got from Pets at Home. These are the last two things I forgot about. They put them in these bags. In there, there's two cow ewes and there's two pigs ewes. Now, I've never tried cow ewes with the dogs. Quite a lot of people don't recommend pigs ewes, dog, uh, cow ewes. But my, my Sasha, I've always had them all her life and they're her favourite. So I'm not going to stop feeding them now. Just because she, no, because of different things and that, but yeah, that's them. They actually, the pig's ears are in half. So it's one pig ear together, and then there's two cow's ears then. Um, but that's them. You can either do them in a bag or you can buy them, um, you can buy them in a bag or do them separately, which I've done. I then got from Pets at Home, these are the last two things I forgot about. They put them in these bags. In there, there's two cow ewes and there's two pig's ewes. Now, I've never tried cow ewes with the dogs. Quite a lot of people don't recommend pig's ewes, dog, uh, cow ewes. But my, my Sasha, I've always had them all her life and they're her favourite. So I'm not going to stop feeding them now. Just because she, no, because of different things now. But yeah, that's them. They actually, the pig's ewes are in half. So it's one pig ewe together, and then there's two cows ewes then. Um, but that's them. You can either do them in a bag or you can buy them, um, you can buy them in a bag or do them separately, which I've done. Then finally from Pets at Home, I had um, these pick a mix treats, and I quite like to do these. These are carrot, uh, carrot bones. I got a piece of the carrot in them. We've got the cheesy bones of Marky's, gravy bones. Markings. Oh, chocolate drops. 
because the gerbils and the hamsters, the hamster loves them. These are charcoal um, bones. The average markies, or puppy markies, and yes, they are no puppy markies. And they are different types of markies next day, their favourite. There's a bit of a selection going on in there. Oh, they've got the, the brown cheese ones, just there. Um, that's that. That was like something like £1.78 for the bag. You kind of do a pick a mix of your own. So that's those. And that's everything from Pets Home, guys. I'm going to go on to the range. I wasn't planning on going the range, but I ended up going there anyway. Because, yeah, <laughs> I'll show you what I got. So from the range, I had this boredom beaten uh, food bowl food ball <laughs> and I haven't got a bell on there I want one without the bell because Dora's now in my bedroom I don't like her with the bell there although you can take the bell off I uh, prefer these ones I wanted only one anyway because the boys have got one for their bed in and I thought only one for Dora for a hay would be nice so that was from the range so I was getting mixed reviews about this and this is the vitamin drops for guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils, rats and mice now I've read the back of it, and it says to give it to them when they oh, one part, one part, one part. I'm upside down. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, for when they are, what is it? Recovering from illness or in poor condition. And I thought it's always easy to always um, your pet can go ill any time. And I thought this is good just to keep on hand. I don't know if it's any good, but Johnson's. I've been quite lucky with Johnson's. They've been pretty good with me. Um, like the fly strike solution, the, the cleaning products, everything like that. But I got that just for precaution. I think I was like £3.50, something like that. I must have something like 20 seed bars for the pets now. But I don't want to pick it up because it was like 70 pence or 60 pence. I can't remember exactly. But it's a nut and honey. It's for birds, for cocktails, parrots, etc. But all it is is millet, sunflower seeds, red millet, um, and canary seed in it, I think. Let's have a look. Seed cereals, everyone know honey and honey, obviously. Now, I thought the hamster or the gerbils would absolutely love that. I kind of like to break them up from, or they are on their birthdays, they have a whole one. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. I then bought a new water bottle, which is a giant one, and Dora's is fine, but it's always good to have one on, on standby. Now, the boys have got a lot of rodent ones, but I've thrown all of Dora's out, so I thought I could start afresh and get a new one. Although the other one's completely fine at the moment, but you never know when they break, so it's always good to have them handy. So the next three things I got were the board and breaker chew tubes. I picked up three. I don't know why I picked up three personally, but I just picked up three. <laughs> um, so the hamster is pretty big, so I thought these are nice tubes for him. And he really likes them, likes tubes. And the gerbils love them too. So perhaps the gerbils can have two and the hamster can have one. But these are like 40 pence each, so they're really, really cheap. And they're from the range. I then got these Vitacraft fruit crossies. I've never tried these before. They're tropical fruit. And my friend seen them she was like oh they look really nice so do you want to get them for the pets and I was like oh why not so they really like the stuff with gooey stuff inside there so they're nice as a nice rare treat for them this is not for the pets but it's pet related it's craft pour what's I say embellishment and what's they look like I thought these are cute I thought for name tags they're perfect and I had these from range too so this is what I actually went in for and this was bath in sand supreme science one and this is, is for chinchillas, hamsters, gerbils and, and dagos. Now, that's what I'm going to read that. That's what I went in for. I was, I'm going to get it online. Um, but it was like an add-on item. So it would be like over like £10 on a certain item. So I was just like, right, okay. I was getting from the range when I go there. And I wouldn't plan on going there today. But I ended up going there. And this was £3.50, something like that. Perhaps that's expensive. But oh my gosh, honestly, this... It's like a lifesaver, especially since Ted goes to the toilet in the in his sand bath, and the gerbils kind of do as well, and they like to have a bath and that. I go through quite a bit, um, but I do just like sibby. I do. I've done a video on how I spot clean the gerbils' tank, and it's in that how I kind of reuse it, and it's lasted me so long. But I've just used my last bit now for the boys for their big sand bath, so I thought I'd pick up a new one. So my friend came with me and she absolutely, she said she seen this, so it's so colourful, and she was like, you've got to get it, so I said, why not, I got it. <laughs> um, it's not a bridge, it's, it's supposed to be up it's got clips on you, so you kind of clip it onto the bars of the cage. It's for birds, it's a playtime, um, fun wooden ladder toy, so it's going to be like a ladder, it'll be flat, you can do anything with it, 
So I thought I'd buy the boys when I do the colourful theme tour, or for them in general, because these are really thick wood, and it'll take them a while to get through this. And I'll um, this for you, you can get. They are a little bit expensive on some things, but I really, really like this. It's colourful, it looks really cute. And yeah, I can't remember how much this was on the face, because it's kind of going to look like a ladder anyway. I then picked up these lollipop sticks, but they're coloured. Um, these are good for when I make like um, hamster toys, not so much durable toys because I use glue and they just, just destroy it straight away. So I thought it'd be nice, instead of me painting them, I could just use these instead. So I've got a hot glue gun, gun now, and I do make them quite often the activity sets or whatever. And yeah, they're not very exciting. I then got these Vitacraft Roninis. Now, the pet, these are the pets' absolute favourite. And they, I believe these are the berry ones, but these are from the range as well. No, they're apple, sorry. These ones are apple. And I thought I'd pick some new ones up because, well, I thought why not? I then got this Cage Fresh Granules of my Beefer. And I haven't tried this before, but I've seen quite a few people using it. And some stores inside, I like it to be nice and clean. So I thought I'd give this a go. If anyone knows if it's any good, please let me know. But I will do a review if anyone wants to know. If I want to do if I want to know about buying it. But yeah, that's that. Do you know what? I was so excited seeing this. It's the KT Puzzle Playground. I've never ever seen one of these before. Not on not in person. I've seen them like on channels and everything. But they all look so cool. Everyone said they're a bit of a nightmare to put together, so I'm dreading that a bit to be honest. But I wanted to get it, I wanted to give it a go for Ted. I thought he'd really, really like this and want to play with it. But yeah, so that's what I had. So then the next few things now are dog items. They that's what this is what I actually went for. Because they haven't really had new toys recently. They've destroyed the ones they have for Christmas because they've only cheap ones. But I wanted to get some new play toys for them because they do really like their toys. Including Sasha. Um so I'm just going through the rest of the bag. You've seen the one at the beginning, that was from Pets at Home. These are all from the range, so I'll just talk you through them. Um, I've had this elephant before this was Alfie's first ever toy and my mother threw it out the other day and I was a bit upset because um, it was his puppy toy and I thought I'm not going to be able to get the same one again because he absolutely loved it but he had destroyed it all that was left was like like an arm attached to the bit of the belly and the legs kind of thing but when I seen it there I thought I had to get it because I know for a fact he loves it, fact, he loves it. And these are the wacky animals squeaky toy happy pet one and I thought he looks super cute. My girl with the toys been for the wars. So I thought I'd buy a new one. My mother said to throw all their old toys out now because they are getting a bit like old and everything. So I picked up some new ones for them. So I got that him. I then got this fox one. And this is the go on squeeze me. I better not squeeze it because the dogs will hear it and they come run upstairs. Alfie's already taken one down. Shake a fox. Hmm. Uh, that's not very relevant, is it? But still. Um, it's like it's like raggy. It's kind of like really thin there, and they really like raggy toys. And I thought they'd really like him. He's too cute, though. Isn't he? Look, look at it. Look at his face. So that's that. And this is by Rough and Tumble. I then got this Good Boy Softies, and this is really soft. Um, comfort bone. It's cuddly comfort in toys. It's got a squeak in the middle. I do cut these tags off because I think they're quite dangerous. But that's just plain because ch my mother chucked the, his little uh, blue one that he had as a pup away. So, but I couldn't find the same one as that. So I thought I'd just get him another two one like that. I like to get similar toys because that's the toys that they like. I then fell in love with this jolly doggy rosewood like ring kind of one. And my sister absolutely adores owls so I thought this would be nice. For her, really. No, well, not for her, but I thought it was nice anyway. And that's that. I don't know the price of him, but that's him. And then finally, got this good boy, Raggy. And they absolutely love Raggy toys, like I said earlier. But this is like a sheep, and it's super cute. And it's got no body. No body? No stuffing in the body, but that's what I absolutely love. So let's give a quick overview of the toys. There you go. <laughs> And the one that Alfie's took, so that's what I mainly went for. I mainly went for bath sand, and I mainly went for toys, but I came back with a lot of stuff. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Sorry that the second one was really long.
I would show you all the stuff, but they're all on the side of me and they just <laughs> chucked upon me. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching. And bye guys.